Hello, I'm Russ, N4RTD. And if you use DMR and have a hotspot and use it on the Brandmeister network, and you haven't made any changes to your configuration in a while, you're probably going to have to. Here's some information you need to know about. Granted, this video is not going to apply to everyone. There are quite a few people who use DMR and have hotspots on the Brandmeister network, but don't use API keys. What an API key on your hotspot allows you to do is add some new functionality to your admin dashboard, allowing you to drop QSOs, drop dynamic talk groups, allows you to add static talk groups, re remove static talk groups, all which you can do on the Brandmeister site but it allows you to do it right from your web-based dashboard without having to log on to the Brandmeister network. I'll put a link in the show notes, but you're going to want to visit this website on Brandmeister user API keys. It was put out on August 19th by Oliver Fox 4 Bravo Whiskey Golf. Brandmeister is switching from the API version 1 keys, which were generated in 2018, but in August of 2022, developers improved the API features and created API version 2, which changed the format of the keys. So if you have a version 1 key, it's probably going to be good for the next several months. But you will want to go onto the Brandmeister website, generate a new key, and then install it into your hotspot. I hope this video has been helpful in giving you a heads up that your version 1 API key that you're using is going to expire allows you to get on to generate a version 2 uh, API key so that you don't run into any issues in the future. Have fun on DMR in your hotspot, and we'll catch you in the next video. 7-3.